Good afternoon and welcome to Prime of Midlife. It is about quarter past one on Sunday and I am just about to try, I've decided to try and make a hay box or wonder bag or, you know, cook the stuff in the pot for hours just wrapped in things. So what I have is I have my cast iron um, pot, I have carrots, I have onions, I have ham stock cubes and over here... which I completely forgot to bring over the first time, I have lentils. So, what we're going to do is just quickly, roughly chop these onions. Why is it they always fall apart when I don't want them to? And I'm going to turn the heat on under that pot because with it being cast iron, it's going to take forever to heat up. As you heard at the beginning of the video, that was the kettle boiling. So, two onions, um, I think probably about five of the small carrots. As you can see, this is the Morrison's Too Good To Go box that I've emptied out here. Um, I ate the raspberries. If you saw the box last night, you'll know there was raspberries there. I ate them. They were just too good to be leaving sitting, so... They're gone already. So this can all go in here. It's a very heavy pot, I might say. But they do say that these are the best ones for keeping in the heat. So as I have one, I am going to be using it. I have to say, I've seen quite a few of these, like Le Creuse or whatever they're called, or the cheaper versions, which mine obviously is. Um, I've seen quite a few of them in charity shops recently, so we'll see how that goes. So we have the carrots and onions in. Now the ham stock cube, I just always use ham if I'm using lentils, it just seems to go. So I chop up the stock cubes so that they disperse more easily. Now, somebody said, what do you put in a slow cooker? Um, this. This gets done in a slow cooker quite a lot. Uh, and we're going for one cup, which doesn't actually fit, of lentils. Now, I can hear that pot hissing behind me. Why am I not flying this weather? Okay. And then the kettle, which you heard boil. And that's basically my portion control. It's a full kettle, so I've got 1.7 litres. It's what my kettle says. Now, the advice for this is to get it to a rolling boil, so that was why I put the heat on before I actually put anything in here. So, I'll be back when it's boiling. So, that is that at a rolling boil just now. Um, I've put the lid on because I don't see the point in putting the lid on when it's cold. So I'm just letting it boil while I show you what I've got here. I've got, a, it's a Tesco crate thing because I don't have a cardboard box. What can I say? And so I've put a Primark bag, a paper Primark bag in the bottom. And then I got some stuff from Amazon. So I'm putting this quite hefty cardboard envelope in the bottom for my pot to sit on. So as you can see, we are bubbling away nicely. So over here we have old towels, so I'm just going to actually use one of these to lift the pot because it's not one of these things that you can, um, all of it gets hot, so there's no safe place to lift this. So we'll switch off the heat. And we'll place the pot on top of the cardboard. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to try and pack this with cosy things. Now a lot of people say you can use duvets, you can use pillows and that's all well and good if you've got them. I was What I'm trying to do, or why I did it this way, is I'm thinking what would everyone have and not everyone's got a spare duvet. Not everyone's got a spare Arctic sleeping bag. 
Um, so I thought, right, I'm going to use what people might be able to use themselves, and that is towels. So I'm packing this, as you can see, as tight as I can. Goodness, that's hot. Just so that the, the towels are right against the pot. And obviously that's left the top open, so we need to find something. So, you will have remembered me telling you about crocheting blankets. This one here is a very awful shape. I, I really did not do it well. Um, but it is very tightly stitched, as you can see. So that there is, oh, didn't even put it. let me just move the camera so you can see it properly. That there is going to be my homemade hay box. So as you can see there, packed tight with all these things straight off a rolling boil. Um, didn't even open it to stir it. And the time is 27 minutes past one. So I'll let you know what time I'll come and open this and we'll see how we get on. And we're back. This is almost exactly four hours since I bundled this all up. There's still a bit of warmth in that blanket, but not a lot. So let's see what we've got in here. Um, yeah. I'll just throw these down here just now. Okay, so that's still out she got, I have to say. Um, yeah, definitely still out she got. So let's just lift the lid. Okay, so we can, can we all see that? Let me just pop that back there. Okay, so there is still quite a bit of worms coming off of that. Okay, so the lentils still need some cooking. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this right back on. blanket again because as you saw there was still steam coming off of that um that's still got a lot of heat in it so i'll just get that folded back properly and we will just get that side's warmer so we'll keep the heat in on that side and we'll just pop that back for another couple of hours. Welcome back. It is now just over two hours later since the last time I taped or videoed. So, okay, still, still pretty hot, although touchable this time. So we'll have another go, <clears throat> and we'll see what this is like. Okay, that looks not too bad. We shall munch a carrot and see. Mmm. Carrots are just perfect, a bit of bite. Needs a bit of salt. But, yeah, that would... The lentils could do with a bit more. So I'm basically just going to leave it. Um... blanket back on but I think that's just because I put lentils if that had been a veggie soup that would have been just perfect so there we go that is that so I'll go and put this up and you can let me know what you think <laughs> 